Ya yo, ya yo everyone, Dr. Jason Turner here back with another live reaction to Dragon Ball Daima. We're on episode... Is it seven? Is it seven that we're on here? Let's see real quick. Uh, episode six, goodness, I am jumping the gun. Episode six, lightning. I wonder what's gonna happen here. I, I think in the preview that we saw for this week's episode, uh, we did see that Glodio and Goku will fight. Now, as to whether or not that's going to be like a just a friendly sparring match or if Goku discovers something about Glodio or Glodio reveals his cards as to what he's really trying to do, then maybe a fight ensues and that's what causes it. But we know they are fighting in this episode. So really excited to see how that's going to go down. And uh, yeah. Let's not waste any more time. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like. It's free on the video, and it helps us in the YouTube algorithm, so always greatly appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and click that bell icon so you do not miss a video when we upload it. All right, guys. Dragon Ball Daima, Episode 6, Lightning in 3, 2, 1. Ba bam Watch out. Mm. All right, here. Let's... Let's jump ahead a little bit past the intro. Even though the intro is a banger, the intro is a banger. We love it, but all right, let's see here. Whoa. Oh my. That's right, that's right. That's that's where we left off last time. Too much, too much on the ship. Too much on the ship. They they got as far as what? A couple meters, 30 meters from the from where they were. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Camping equipment, emergency. Is that, oh, that gecko? Is that uh, camping equipment? Lightning. Supreme Kai Sama. Ship gone like Kai's called Kai's. Is this guy right here? So far. So far. Mm, no profit. A man of the people. Damn, that 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 sounded more like him ripping ass than uh, having a hunger a hunger growl. Yeah. Goku pulling. Oh wow, that was him ripping ass. Oh my god. Oh, that is hilarious. That is hilarious. I'm about to say, man, I'm like, yeah, is that what's going on? Damn. No wipes or anything? Goku, you better find some demon wipes somewhere around there. Wow. Okay. At least they're not going to be uh, monsters about it. Goddamn mongrels. That would have been nasty. That would have been so nasty. The way he ran away. Oh, is that another ship? Oh, who's that? Oh, oh well, that's not good. They're patrolling. Hey, I see some random people minding their own business. Let's harass them. <laughs> Conflict found you. And of course, they're gonna harass these three. Goku's gonna come in at the last second and save them. Mm. Mm. 
What about you? Okay, she has one. Is that a verification thing? Why are you enjoying yourselves? We should probably beat you up to teach you a lesson. <laughs> oh, he's gonna yeah, he he he's walking out of the bushes, not even gonna realize. All right, our harassment campaign is over. Wow, actually, Goku did not blow that one. That's interesting. I, I thought he would have dropped the ball immensely. He timed it perfectly. The only thing nasty about this is that he did not wash his hands. And you, knowing Goku, you know he got Dookie on his hands. You know he got some dingleberries on his hands, man. Please tell me y'all pack soap and some water. Oh, thank God they're asking it. Oh, y'all are net. Please tell me. You got a hand sanitizer, bare minimum. I th That is so funny they brought it up. Oh, my God. That is so funny. That is so funny. I bet you she didn't even pack that. She did not pack that. Right, they are born from trees. Yep. Yep, yep. Oh, wow. Is that how they look like coming from the tree? Oh. In a way. Oh, like, like Namekians. Same tree. The same tree. Okay, that's why they're brothers. Probably from different trees, though. Oh, there's five. Okay. Five glind trees. And maybe he was abandoned? Hmm. Great mission. Didn't get along with it. Oh, oh, it was it was intentional. He wanted to stay. Arinsu. Same tree. Really? <laughs> Are we sure about that? <laughs> Are we sure? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, he's using she, her pronouns. I mean, I, I don't know how far they want to go with that. Ooh, what is... What's up with Glodio? What does he know? What secrets does he have? Hmm? Whoa. Even more a little light even at night. All the time. Oh, wow. He even got matchboxes with his face on it. Oh, 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 man. It looks like... Does he like that? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's, it's satisfactory. Oh, it's a centipede. Demon centipede. Oh. Hey, you eat what you gotta eat. He stuffed his face. Monkey de Luffy style. Like a damn balloon. Hmm. Right. It, I think it does. 
I think it does. You're being awfully evasive. Awfully evasive. That, that can't be the only reason. smoothly. Ooh, I like that shot. That's some good lighting. I like that. Very suspicious. Not a fan. Not a fan. Please tell me he was listening. He wa- Ah, there we go. Alright, Shin. Alright. Good on ya. Good on ya. The question is, what do we do with that information? Do we- Do we beat him up? Oh, first we gotta fight the Minotaur. First we gotta fight the Minotaur. Oh, what smells? Is it his breath? Is it him? Oh, does he smell like Dookie? Okay, no, no, no. It's not him. It's not him. Why is his Minotaur so mad? Hmm. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Oh, oh, it's him that smells. Why does he smell? Does he, does he not? Does he not uh, shower? What's what's the Minotaur's deal? This is perfect. Come on, Go can handle this. Oh, he got pupils in there, too. He is definitely a Dragon Quest enemy. Yeah, I'm not a cow. This th this is giving, um, this is giving Oolong and Poir for some reason. This is giving, actually, no, no. Scratch out poor. This is giving oolong. This is giving oolong a lot. <laughs> Correct. What did you say? Oh, damn. Why should he? He could he just beat you up here. Glida, oh my god. He's literally just being an Inosuke at this point. He's being Inosuke from Demon Slayer. Oh, okay, this, okay, so this is where the 1v1 comes from. So, it's just a friendly sparring match to see who's gonna beat the crap out of the Minotaur. Ooh, okay. All right, Goku, let's see that. You could eat the other ones right there if you're really that serious. Let's see. So what, is Goku having that arm behind him? I don't know, it sounds kind of Frieza-oriented too. I'll fight you with only using my feet, no hands. Oh, okay. All right, this is this is nice. No transformations, I take it. Oh, Goku, he's talking about Goku. Ooh. Oh, hello, Key. All right. Interesting. Finally, some Key Blast. Magic. Okay. Oh no, magic. Very different. 
Okay, is Goku tanking that or what's he gonna do? Dodging. Better to dodge it. You have no idea what that's gonna do to you. You better focus on where he's at, man. Just stop focusing on the, the hole I left behind. Behind you. Behind you. Hmm? I want to see. He, he might get outed in this fight if he pushes him enough. So does that mean inst- Ooh. Okay, he's, he's using two hit. Well, I don't know. It depends. It depends. Let me see. Has he foregone the one-handed thing or... Let's see. Because he, he used it to bring out the pole, but he might not use it now in the fight. Ooh. Okay. Got some insight into what it will be in Sparking Zero. I like this. Oh. Whoa! Damn. Roy in the tummy. Lovely. Lovely. Yeah, Glodio felt that. If they lose their pupils, it, it's done. It's done. But you know he's about to pull something out. So let's see what he's got. So my, oh, magic whip. Got rid of the Nyoibo. Okay. Hey, oh, Dan, dude. I don't know. Maybe his sparking zero kit will be really fun. Ooh, what's he doing here? Just another magic blast. Will Goku transform? He's going to transform, isn't he? Oh, if he does... Oh, yes, he's transforming. Yes, yes. Do the... I mean, it's yellow aura. Kamehameha? Kamehameha. Ka Su ah, there we go. There we go. Oh, there it is from the trailer. There it is. Ooh. Mm. Oh, I can't wait to see Stephanie scream like this. I can't wait for I I can't wait to see the dub of this. A super saiyajin. That's all he needs. That's all he needs. No need to go further. Oh yeah, you're not winning this, man. If he if he collides that with a Kamea Mama, it, it's it's done. It's done. What are you doing, Goku? Why aren't you flinching? Oh, what? Oh, no, okay, he fired it. He fired it. I thought I thought he was backing out. Oh, wait, doesn't he do this thing from the trailer? Yeah, he actually takes it. Bam! Oh, lovely. Lovely. Oh, Glorio. You met your match. Oh, it's done. Ooh. Is that a blow to the back? What's he gonna do? Oh, don't hit him in the back. Don't, don't break his spine. Don't break his spine. It's over. The match is done. The match is... Okay, I'm about to say, don't, don't punch him at that angle, man. Because you're gonna break... <laughs> you're gonna permanently damage him at that point. <laughs> That was cool. All right. We finally got to see that scene from the trailer. What about SS3? How, how, I mean, he was shocked that he could go to SS1. Oh yeah, that guy's done. He's like, I I'm just gonna go back into my hole. I'm gonna go back into my cave. That's okay, it's nap time. Of course. Hmm. Again? Oh, I mean, he ate. He ate. 
Actually, do you have any? Do you have any soap? Do you have any soap for him? Please give him some soap. Don't let him be a monster anymore like this. Oh, Vegeta! When are they leaving, man? They still haven't. Oh my god, they still have not left. They better leave now. They better get there like now. Soon. So not today. Not today. Hmm. I'm sure. They still need that passcode thing, right? Um, or I think the the last guy, the the Lord of the Third Demon World, said that he was gonna help somehow, I think. Okay, so Piccolo and Vegeta confirmed to be the only Z fighters that are attending this through Daima. Uh, cause after this, it's like no one else is joining. Obviously, no no baby Yamcha, baby uh, Krillin, none of them. Ooh, hello. What's wrong? Don't tell me it's gonna fall. Is it gonna? Oh no, that means, oh God, it's gonna take forever for them to catch up, man. It's gonna end there, isn't it? Of course, of course. What what can you do at that point? You really can't do anything. Let's see what the preview is. All right, let's see. Collar. Um, okay, they got somewhere. They got somewhere there. Um, pretty pretty decent episode of Dragon Ball Daima. Obviously, the parts that I enjoyed the most were the I mean, this segment right here where they get stopped by like, you know, the demon cops um it was kind of like eh, all right you know just stalling for time a little bit i wasn't too big on this moment i thought maybe something crazy would happen but mm, nothing really nothing really Pro to me the meat and potatoes of this episode was the extra exposition that we got for how supreme kai's are born um which is always really cool to see we we've known about this um in the extended material of dragon ball like the daizen shoes and the data books and whatnot but it's nice to see this confirmed in an animated, you know, format for a, a wide, uh, a wider audience. So they're confirmed. They're born of the tree. Um, that's why, you know, they're kind of like plants, but Supreme Kai doesn't think so. But I, they are literally plants. They are just like uh, Namekians. So that's cool to see. Uh, it's, uh, actually, wait, is Degesu his younger brother? Because I think he said... He was born from the same tree when I was 216. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, so Supreme Kai is older than um, Degesu, and the question is, Degesu was ambitious, which is why he stayed behind. I thought maybe it was something where they left him behind, and he just, you know, was a product of the Demon World environment, which is why he is the way he is. But that doesn't seem to be the case here. Um, he's got some ambitions as to what that looks like. I'm sure we'll get some insight as the story goes on, but. Yeah, this guy was like, you know, we're, we were born here. I, I think we should stay. I think we should stay. So, the guess who stayed behind, got to see what he's going to do there. Um, and then, of course, the suspicions with Glodio. I'm sure we're going to get some more insight because Arinsu was literally just exposed um, with Glodio over the phone. Supreme Kai was listening in. So, he knows not to trust Glodio. Or, he knew already not to trust Glodio completely, but... Now he has even further suspicions, further confirmation to hold him in that suspicious air. This ox thing was just for a gag. It's not there to be serious at all. The real meat and potatoes right here was the Glorio versus Goku mini fight. We got to see more of the kit with Glorio. He does not just have his fisticuffs and his gun. He also has magic abilities. Variations too. Like I, I already can tell what his um what his sparking zero animations are gonna be just based off of this fight alone once uh he gets released in the season pass you already have that little um death beam attack that he has you have one where he like puts his hands together and charges up an attack and then he also has like a like a black whip one kind of reminds me of a uh, all for ones uh or not, not all for ones one for all's ability uh from my hero academia but um that's good to see 
That is good to see. Goku dropped the one arm knack real quick. He he dropped it real quick and brought out the power pole. But it's awesome to see Super Saiyan Mini Goku. We finally see him in an official capacity. Last week we did see him technically, but that was kind of like just, you know, a flicker of Super Saiyan and then he fought the fight. But this one was full on. I am transforming into Super Saiyan and I'm going to hit you as a Super Saiyan. So that's really cool to see. Interesting that for Goku, he wasn't even really sure, right, that he could even still do it. Uh, he says, looks like I win. Let me see what he says here. What does he say? I was surprised that I could still do it. It's Super Saiyan. Okay, thank goodness I could still do it as a kid. So even he was unsure. I'm sure he was aware from last week's episode, but there was still that, you know, question of, hey, can I turn into it? Can I maintain it? Um, I'm sure that I'm sure that that was a question that uh, he wanted to address, and this fight confirmed it. The real kicker is how far can he go? Can he go into SS2, which SS2 has kind of been thrown in the back burner in in most Dragon Ball extended media. No one really cares about SS2 post Cell games. So the real question, even though we want to know, can he go any higher past SS1? The real question is. Can he go to SS3? Can he maintain an SS3 form uh, while in his mini state? He couldn't do it as an adult, but I don't know. The, the air in the demon world is dense and hefty, and it, they'll, they'll, they'll paint some excuse. I don't know. That's if we see SS3, but who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Um, But we have SS3. Uh, well, potentially SS3. This thing, I honestly hated this scene right here just to tease us and they, these characters piccolo i i don't really care about kabito but piccolo and vegeta need to get their asap to the demon world and i thought this little segment here was going to be confirming that they are on their way but no the ship crashes don't know what the problem is we're still stuck here we're still stuck here boma has no idea what happened so these guys are not going to be meeting anytime soon. And actually, now that I think about it, those bugs. Can you imagine if Piccolo fuses with someone? If he fuses with, like, Goku or Vegeta? I I don't know. Uh, uh, what, what would that even be called? Pick, 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 Oku? Poku? Poku. Poku. Vegetolo? Vegetolo. Vegetolo or Pijita, Pijita, I like it. I mean, these are all dumb names. Uh, or, or, or Paiku, 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 Piku, Piku. Oh, I think I like that one the best. Piku, P-I-K-U. A fusion with the bugs between Piccolo and Goku, Piku. Oh man. Oh, that would be good. That would be good. I'm putting my money on that one. But let me know what you all think down in the comments below. How did you like this episode of Dragon Ball Daima? Are you impressed with L Glodio's kit? Is he too weak? Do you think... Honestly, I, I, I think this is a fair assessment. Do you think Goku is too overpowered throughout Daima right now? Goku has been put into a lot of these fights, clearly being the one that is going to win. Uh, mind you, he's only really fought random henchmen. He's only fought Glorio, which we don't even know to the extent of Glorio's true power. I, I want to say that was his like his his max capability, but I feel like he might have one or one or two more tricks up his sleeve. We'll see. But he got he got blasted. And maybe he didn't want to push himself all too hard because he doesn't want to reveal himself to Goku and be like, oh yeah, I'm really this person and this is my true power. So maybe Glorio has some extra things up his sleeves. But Goku has been very confident in all his fights. He's been winning all his fights. To be fair, that was really early Dragon Ball. You didn't get Goku really struggling in any of his fights up until really when he fought, uh, you know, Jackie Chun in, in the World Martial Arts Tournament. Um, like, like in terms of like he had to give it his all. So nothing like that yet. We'll have to wait and see. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And click that bell icon so you do not miss a video whenever we upload it. All right, guys. See you on the next one. Dr. J's attorney signing out. See you next time.